Ben's there like, oh, go on. And I'm like, uh, uh, uh. dancing and she's like, Wah! now's the great time to pick up my hands. That's where she belongs. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. I am not wearing a Christmas jumper, there is no red around me, and I haven't even got actual earrings in, so... I wanted to just take a little break out of the Christmas videos as I know there's been a lot of Christmas singing or Christmas related videos, however this is more related to the end of the year, reflecting, looking back at what has happened in the year, and commenting on it. <laughs> I will be sharing with you a story that happened during a gig and I just think it's too funny slash scary not to share. If you're watching this video and have no idea who I am, I'm Jennifer Glatzofer. I'm a musical theatre performer and I love food. I always go to that. <laughs> Do go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified whenever I post. So I was having a little scroll through Instagram as you do. I run the Joyrider page which for those of you that don't know is the band that I am in. I was about to say was but I am still in. It's just because we haven't really gigged in a while. <laughs> I play the keyboard and am a lead singer of the band Joyrider. We play for big parties, small parties, weddings, birthdays, anniversaries. I'm trying to think of what Ian says in his thing, but I can't. Um, whatever party, we'll be there to play the perfect playlist. I'm plugging now. <laughs> Basically, I would be gigging if things were allowed. We had a moment in August where we were able to gig. I'll pop the video up here. What side am I? But we did have some normal gigs at the beginning of the year before everything turned upside down and hopefully next year we'll be back playing more regularly because I really miss it. This event happened at a local gig, it was in a pub, so it was just a small sort of, it wasn't like an event or you know a birthday or a wedding or something like that. This was also in March, beginning of March, and what I'm about to describe to you would not be allowed right now. I'm just thinking back to it and it's just crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set the mood for you. You have to use your imagination for this, okay? It was an evening gig, so it was already getting dark because it was March. We were all setting up. I was obviously putting up my keyboard stand. That was also the time that I popped the keyboard on there and decided to that the keyboard stand wasn't actually at the right height. So I tried adjusting it with the keyboard on there and it, it was very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that again, Jen. <laughs> Look like you know what you're doing, please. As I was setting up, I was noticing around. It wasn't too busy then. There were a few families sitting around. So weird to think of a busy pub, but it got very busy. So while looking around, I noticed that this young female was by herself. So I just thought, you know, create good image. Uh, what's the saying? I didn't want to be rude, basically. So I just said, hi, hope you're well. Uh, are you staying to watch us kind of thing? And... I just remember she was acting a little bit tipsy, merry. She was kind of, she was up on a bar stool, leaning against the bar, I think she had wine, and she kind of like started waving and smiling, and I was like, you, you okay? <laughs> and she was like, I can't wait, what sort of music do you do? So I told her what kind of music we do, which by the way is everything from like the 60s and up, if that's something you want at your event next year. <laughs> that lasted about, 10 seconds, it wasn't anything long, because already I, I felt like, I mean she was by herself, I didn't know that if she was by herself or maybe a friend went to the toilet or something, but at that moment she was by herself, so I just wanted to make sure she, she didn't feel alone, that was that, didn't think anything of it. So, first set, tick, done, everyone's loving it, I'm belting out Adele, that's gone well. After about a 20 minute break, we begin the second set. We get to the song Young Hearts, I think it was, and the lady, comes to the dance floor. Nothing wrong with that, the dance floor is filling up by the way. So of course, she's up, fine. And I'm like, yay, oh that's the girl making that thought, oh she was the one that acted a little bit merry. She's having fun. So a few songs go by and I begin to notice her just staring. Like she stops, she's kind of, she's dancing and she's like, Wah! you know, I'm drunk, dancing to a great band, <laughs> And then she'll just be like, she just stops and stares and I obviously I'm seeing everything because I'm right at the front playing my keys and singing and I'm like okay and I'm noticing who where the drunk dancers are and who I maybe want to be a little bit 
weary of. Bearing in mind when we play in pubs we tend to be on the same level and obviously we've got expensive equipment so this all has to be calculated. Around this time we go on to a number where I go out into the audience <laughs> and I really tried not to. <laughs> we've got a wireless mic that I step out and I get everyone involved and it's really fun everyone's dancing and I'm out dancing too so it's super fun for me but I really do not want to go out and I look around and I clock onto Ian and he's like come on he's like there Ian's the guitarist boy if he watches this this is what he does <laughs> but he's there like no oh, go on and I'm like uh, uh, uh. but obviously I don't want to show that I'm shaking my head so I'm like and I don't move and he keeps going go on go and I'm like oh, okay right so I notice my mum is dancing front and center super proud I also got commented on it after saying that aren't I embarrassed that she danced out in front I'm like no that's where she belongs <laughs> So I see her and I think, good, I can go up to her, dance with my mum, save her from the drunk people and hopefully avoid the woman that's drunk. Perfect. That actually worked well, so I began having some hope that actually nothing bad could come. I didn't actually think anything bad was going to come, I didn't know what to expect. I go out, I do my thing, sing, look at people, haha, she's kind of dancing off somewhere else. And I make it back safely in the group, all is well. Then, it's like, you know when you're having a drink and you don't feel it? And then suddenly either you step outside or you stand up and then suddenly you're in a completely different state and you can't remember what you're doing. I think this is what genuinely happened to her. And I hope that she was okay after this because she clearly was not during. So when performing gigs and singing, you are what people are focusing on. People are going to look at you. So you will get the odd people thinking they can talk to you a little bit differently or you know, you get those looks or those points nothing rude this is all just you know coming from people that are watching sometimes they do go a little bit on the rude side we can save that for another video but yeah i'm kind of especially in a pub scene you're kind of prepared for what is in store this however is something else i think we've got about four more songs on the set list so everything's really rocky loud audience participation she decides that it's a great idea to stand right in front of me and not move. Gone are the moments of dancing and flapping your arms around. No, she's standing right in front of me. So if I'm standing here, my keyboard, let's pretend it's a little bit mini. <laughs> I'm standing here, this is my keyboard. I'm standing the appropriate distance away from the keyboard to play it. She is standing the exact same distance, but on the other side. So literally like, I kid you not, I think she was this far. Okay, so I think, you know, where, <laughs> where am I meant to look? I'm singing Uptown Funk now and I'm like, Uptown funk you up. Hello, Uptown funk you up. Yeah, still here. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else notices. I think Steve does, our other main singer. I think he notices and I'm pretty, I'm, I'm sure they notice, but I think obviously we're just, we want to bring out a positive vibe. We don't want to assume suddenly that things are going to go wrong. We want to keep up. So we're all fine. Then th there's more. So obviously I need to uh, be playing the keyboard, but this woman decides that now's the great time to pick up my hands and just let me know how wonderful I am. Don't get me wrong, we all, I think we should be sharing this positivity around and be telling everyone how wonderful everyone is if they're wonderful people, obviously. I'm all for bringing everyone up and sharing positivity, so actually the positive meaning that she wanted to share the positivity was all in the right place but just not the right time <laughs> so she starts grabbing my hands and i'm like again i don't want to um be you know rude and be like oh <laughs> don't touch me which is what i definitely do now <laughs> because covid but you know I, and then she, she i think she went for my she tried to grab in my head and that's when i obviously did not let her do that <laughs> but I was like, what is going on? She also had her wine glass in her hand still. So one of the hands was going for me, the other with the wine. There's equipment. So I had to keep, you know, kind of gently pushing her a little bit back and saying, just, do you, do you mind stepping back? Basically, she was crossing the line as she was in the performer's space. This is something that I shouldn't happen. I know people were drinking, so people get excited and we're playing music and it's all happy, but this is where I think some assistance would have been great. <laughs> she then proceeds to tell me 
that she loves me. And I was like, oh, great, thank you so much. Like, <laughs> this is the first time I'm ever experiencing a fan like this, so <laughs> who am I? <laughs> and obviously, again, to shout that from a distance, you don't need to be up in my face. Other people want to see as well. People were still dancing, I think because the dance floor was really full. No one that worked in that pub could see what was going on, so it was no one's fault. It just happened really, that's why it just switched and suddenly she was in my face saying all these lovely things, but not at the right time. It was at this moment that a group of friends of someone in the band came and created a barricade in front of her, like between her and me. It just got very dramatic and I never expected this to happen, but this is what happened. <laughs> they were all, you know, arms linking like this and her, I could see this woman's head kind of going behind and her arms coming through saying, I just want to tell her that I love her. She's so amazing. I could see her arms kind of reaching and I was singing, looking back being like, ha ha ha, what the hell is going on? <laughs> We were singing our last few songs now, probably the last one, getting everyone involved. We were getting a little bit frustrated with what was going on. I was okay, I just think I just didn't really deal with it very well because this was the first time something like this happened and I, <laughs> I wasn't trained in someone doing this and I didn't know how to react. I was kind of trying to smile, make everyone feel like everything was okay, that nothing like this was happening, but maybe I should have been a little bit firmer. But then again, what's too firm? Was I just not being too, was I being too nice? I don't know. We were a little bit frustrated because it was a great gig, everyone's up and dancing, we were talking to people and it just felt like a really nice atmosphere up until the last half an hour. Again, I hope she was well and I hope she's well now, but right at the end, things got a little bit heated and yeah, it was. I think we were just frustrated more than anything. Someone that she knew did come and get her, so that was okay, but I hope does she remember it the day after? Do you think she woke up and realised what she did? I mean, we didn't get a message from her. Maybe she was a bit embarrassed, I don't know. Anyway, I was left very shaken. I think I had to like process what had gone on. I'm a very shaky person anyway, so it just heightened everything up. I remember stepping back, it was all in slow motion. Mark behind me walked forward to try and sort out because it was his friends that kind of barricade boys I want to say but that's musical theatre. <laughs> I was pushed back, I remember Ian coming over to me asked me if I was okay and I was like yeah don't really know what, what, what happened. <laughs> but anyway I think the moral of the story is that if you are going to see live music please respect the performer's space and obviously drink if you want to drink and dance if you want to dance have a good time but just know where the limit is. So that is my story of um, one of my many fans that just went a little bit too far. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's like the only story that I have. <laughs> I just want to make that point a little bit heavier. That, you know, she grabbed my hands and she wants to grab my face. Like I'm just remembering it now, how I was like, Ugh. like I I'm not being rude, but I, I don't want to be touched when I'm singing or, or just you know, ever <laughs> thank you for watching this video and do let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this story time video and if you want to hear more and if that's a yes i will probably share when i have an interesting story come up because we're limited <laughs> see you soon for another video bye